right, dudes and dudettes, this is just the 2.5 update video for the 2020 Ram with the Banks Ram Air intake on it. I'm going to do a little test drive with you. We're going to see how it sounds, how it feels, how it looks, what kind of mileage we're getting. Uh, I did a cold start video just a little bit ago. And I'm, if it's not below, say, 30 degrees or 18 degrees or whatever, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference in the noise, but once it is actually colder and the truck is running a little bit harder warming up and whatnot, you can definitely tell a difference, uh, but not at 60, almost 70 degrees out here right now. So let's go take a little run and see what you think. All right, so we're going to start off a little cold start video. I think the truck's sitting at like 60 degrees right now, so you'll be able to hear what it sounds like on first go. A little preheat in progress, I bet. Any day. <laughs> doesn't sound too bad you can't really hear it being this warm outside it's like 55 60 degrees outside right now you can't really hear it as much but let's get this thing out on the road all right so we just fired this thing up so hopefully you guys will be able to hear while we're rolling down the road just letting it warm up for just a minute before we take off but one thing i have noticed is that <clears throat> It can be subjective as to if you think throttle response is better or anything like that. That, that could be a uh, subjective analysis there. But uh, one piece of information that isn't is what the truck is actually giving me as far as fuel mileage is concerned. Uh, and what I've noticed is since changing to the bank's ram air from the stock intake uh, i ran about 15 miles down the road and back i haven't got to really take it out on the highway just yet like actually out on the interstate set it at 75 and cruise but i have been able to get it out on some of these other roads run 75 and just uh, go on down the merry way and what i've noticed is that the truck was doing anywhere between 20 and 21 on the on the highway which we took it in june when it was stinking hot from texas all the way to florida mind you this truck has 15,700 miles on it not very many at the moment and we made it hold on turbo noise guys are able to hear that because that is one thing with this i'll get back to my other point in just a second um you can hear the turbo in the cab now windows up everything you can hear the turbo just fine in the cab um whereas with the stock intake you cannot and so that is one thing i do like about it is i'm able to actually hear the turbo a little bit now uh now when you roll the windows down oh hell yeah you can hear the turbo so uh i'm I'm very impressed with that portion of it. Mind you, the filter is the size of my head and I am not a small person. Uh, on the other flip side of that, um, back to the other point that I was mentioning just a minute ago, is that when we took it to Florida, we were getting 21 and a half going there. That's what it averaged out to over the 1,000 miles, a little over 1,000 miles, whatever it was. And then on the way back, we were getting 22. So I, I was very impressed with the truck right out of the gate to begin with. And that's on the stock intake. Now, in the short little runs that I've done uh, here and there, 15, 20 miles and whatnot with it, uh, setting the cruise at 70, 75, whatever, um, some moron has to call me during the middle of this so they're just gonna have to wait um let's silence that crap the 
the truck has been getting anywhere from 23 to 23.5. So, like I said, that could be possibly subjective, but that's what the readout on the dash has been giving me. So, I would like to get it out on the actual interstate, set the cruise at 75 where, the, where it's a lot more flat because around here in the hill country, it's up and down all over the place. Uh, so, I, I imagine it actually might fare maybe a little better or level out around the 23 mark um, on the highway now so regardless what i'm getting at is i'm seeing about a one to one and a half mile per gallon increase with it so that i'm not going to complain about and hopefully you guys can hear the turbo but anyways make a long story short we'll keep it short and sweet I hope I answered some of the uh, comments, and uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.